Hello everybody the Today I'm going to show you how to take apart and reassemble the Skeub. So this method will work for both a Skeub, a Leyland Skeub like this, or a Sheng Shao, or a, a Moyu Skeub like this, basically any type of Skeub at all. And so both of these cubes actually have torpedoes in them. Uh, I actually made Lego torpedoes for this one. You can see my video on that if you want to know an easy way to make an anti-pop mechanism. And this one comes with built-in torpedoes inside of it. Um, but yeah, they're both basically the same. But regardless if yours has torpedoes or not, you're just going to turn a layer just like this halfway. And then you pull the pieces out like this from each other. And then you can clearly see if you look into it, which piece is coming outwards, and one of them, which one is just staying in. And so the one that's coming outwards is the red one right here. And if yours does not have torpedoes, you can simply pry your thumb up on that red one, and it'll just pop out. And if it does have torpedoes, then what you're going to want to do is hold it like this, so you're kind of putting your finger underneath where it inserts sex with that corner right there, and then pop it out. This, you see this is my Lego torpedo. From here, you can simply just take the corners out, and then it'll just simply fall apart. On the Moyu Scube, it's the same thing. You just pull them apart, like that. And I see the green one's coming out. And I do this. And you may even need to twist it a little bit. That's what I've done on that one. And I'll just fall apart again. I'll start with the Land Land Scube here. Uh, what we're gonna do is just find any old uh, piece like this. And then we find the two centers that it needs to go in between. And so you see these are both yellow. And so you basically find the ones that both have the same color uh, that are next to each other, like this. And so you put that on, and then I see, uh, I'll just find a color that's next to it, so like orange. I'll line up that with orange, right there. And I'll find the orange piece, there it is. And I'll just slide this one in too. An easy way to slide it in is to just rotate that one off a little bit, and then stick this little piece underneath there, and then stick it back on, like that. Now you see, we need to find the yellow, uh, orange, and green piece, which should be right here. So we stick that in. Now I need to find the green piece, which is right here. And so we actually have to slide this off around 45 degrees or something like that. And then stick this in. It may be a little bit difficult, this here has torpedoes. You have to kind of slide the torpedo under while putting that under this piece. And then you can just simply slide it back up until it snaps into place. At this point, you have it lined up like this, and so you just rotate it par partially like that. And you can put one of these pieces in, just make sure to line it up with the color. We don't have to realign it just yet, you can do it to check what color you need. So, blue, white, and orange, put it back. Put it in blue, white, and orange. And put in white. Again, you may have to slide the torpedo underneath that piece. And just to put it in, you just slide this piece under there in the torpedo, then slide that piece underneath there, and then you can find which piece needs to go right there, which is this one, and then if your cube does not have torpedoes, you can simply put the other uh, corner piece in, and then stick this one in, and stick that end, and then just snap it down. This one does have torpedoes, so what I'm going to have to do is I'm just going to put these two pieces together with the torpedo underneath on that uh, corner piece. And I'm going to stick the corner piece in first, and kind of lean it towards the side. So, lean it towards that way. Um, and then, just snap it in, and just snap everything in at once. So you may even have to pull this part out to get the torpedo underneath, and just snap that in. And it's completely reassembled. So that's just about it in this tutorial. It's pretty simple. If you want to see more videos like this, you can leave a suggestion below and like this video to show me that you like it. And if you want to be notified when I upload a new video like this, you can press the subscribe button below. And if you have any questions or comments, you can leave them in the comments below. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!